growing calls for the release of Brittany Griner. The WNBA superstar is due in a Russian courtroom this morning on drug charges as fans rallied last night to bring her home. Our chief global affairs anchor Martha Raddatz is tracking the story from Washington. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. Lawyers in Russia this morning say they hope to have a verdict within a month, but each day the pressure to gain Griner's freedom grows, even though the Russians claim that the public pleading will not help. This morning, Brittany Griner pleading guilty in a Russian court to drug charges, saying, I'd like to plead guilty, Your Honor, but there was no intent. I didn't want to break the law. I'd like to give my testimony later. I need time to prepare. The next court hearing is scheduled for July 14th. Brittany Griner was led into court as she was clutching a photo of her wife taken from a screen grab from a Good Morning America interview. Later, this video of Griner in a holding cell facing five to ten years in prison after Russian police say they found vape cartridges in her luggage containing hashish oil. The trial resuming just days after President Biden received a handwritten letter she wrote from prison, the message reading in part, I'm terrified I might be here forever, adding, please don't forget about me and the other American detainees. The 31-year-old first seen in a Russian court last Friday for the start of her trial, shackled and surrounded by armed guards. Brittany, how do you feel? The White House calling her detention, which has been extended until December, unlawful. On Wednesday, the president and vice president calling Griner's wife directly. Uh, this has been top of mind for the president. He receives daily updates about the status of her, of her negotiations uh, to secure Britney's release, and the U.S. government continues to work aggressively uh, using every available means uh, to bring her home. Today marks 140 days since the Olympic gold medalist has been detained and the public pressure continues to mount. In an open letter signed by more than 1,000 black female leaders, including legendary coach Don Staley, activist Bernice King, and Tina Knowles Lawson, they write to the president, the rhetoric does not appear to align with the actions taken to date. Overnight, 5,000 miles from where the WNBA star is being isolated, fighting for freedom in the Russian court. Brittany Griner, BG. President Biden, please help bring BG home. Her family and friends are making one thing clear. Brittany isn't in this battle alone. As the days continue to increase that my wife is wrongfully detained in Russia, I've adapted her mindset and my efforts to get her home by going no matter what or how I feel. I honestly can't rest until she's home. Martha joined now by Rachel Scott. And Martha, let me begin with you. The stakes are climbing here. Uh, the Russians clearly seeing Brittany Griner as a serious bargaining chip. Uh, they sure do, Georgia. The center of this, of course, the war in Ukraine, which certainly adds to the stakes. But former U.S. Marine Trevor Reed, who had been detained by the Russians, was freed in April. But you also have Paul Whelan, who has been there almost three years. But Greiner is a public figure, and that adds to her value for the Russians. What they have long wanted is a prisoner exchange for a Russian arms dealer named Victor Boot, who has been in a U.S. prison since 2008. He is not someone the U.S. wants to release, but the U.S. also wants all these detainees brought home, George. That's right. And Rachel, the White House working hard hard, they say, doing everything they can. What's going on behind the scenes? Yeah, and many supporters are calling for that prisoner swap, but this is a delicate balance for the Biden administration. On one hand, they do want to get Brittany Griner home as quickly as possible, but at the other hand, they really do not want to say anything that could possibly jeopardize her potential release. They are under immense pressure, and it's not just from Griner's family, but also from the family of Paul Whelan. They say Paul Whelan has written hundreds of letters to the Biden administration and other administration officials. They've been pleading for a meeting at the White House, a call from the president, and they say after more than three years, they are still waiting, George. Okay, thanks to both of you. And the Griner family, when I sat down with Sherelle at their home in Phoenix, they have been very clear about mentioning the other detainees. Mm -hmm. And even Brittany Griner in her letter to President Biden mentioned the other de detainees, just not making it about themselves. Power in numbers. Yes, indeed. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.